Hi everyone, Eddie, Eddie Makes Art, and I've got a bowl full of stuff here today. And I thought what we'd do is, I wanna give you some ideas on what you can do with um, leftover card stocks, card stock scraps, such as this. And I even have, this is the side of a tissue box. Okay, and I, what I did, just I just roughly cut them these can be tags, whatever. This is the back of a greeting card. Um, you know, you can use all sorts of stuff. And I cut them out into shapes. Basically, I was like cleaning up the edges and I, and I kind of tried to figure out what I could do um, with the particular shape. So we're gonna make a lot, we're gonna make some tags, we can make a, um, we can make some journal cards, pockets. These are gonna be pockets here. So that's the first thing. And then I have a, in my bowl, I also have some paints. We're gonna use the jelly plate to paint up our cardstock paper. All right, that's where the paint comes in. And we're gonna use these to make marks. And what I mean is taking paint off the jelly plate and with a stamp, and stamping it right onto your paper. Or we can uh, make a bunch of marks on the plate with paint and then take our tags or what have you and come in here, stamp them off that way. So there's a couple of different ways you can do them. Um, I'm probably not gonna talk while I do it because I wanna speed it up a little bit. Um, but I, you know, I, just, I wanted to show you the process, but I want to talk about um, making your own marking tools. Um, it's really easy. Um, I learned it from, I think it was Carrie Griffith's video um, on how to make your own marking tools using um, foam and some, you know, recycled cardboard. Uh, this one I made with uh, circles, duh. This one fits my five by seven plate perfectly. This is the first gel plate I got, so I needed something to fit that. So that's why that's that. This one here is uh, diamonds and rectangles. And okay, and this is a piece of shelf liner you can use to make some fun marks with that. And we have a piece of cardboard. And if you notice on a lot of these that are cardboard based, I made, used, took a little painter's tape and I made a little tab for myself. So when I put it down, I push it and make my mark. It's easy to pull up and I'm not getting my fingers uh, super painty or, or, or fingerprints in, you know, in the print. All right, so we got this one. This one is just corrugated cardboard, making lines. This one is two rows of circles, little small circles. Uh, what I did was I took a paper punch and I punched out the um, pieces of foam and then just glued them on here onto some cardboard and a little tape. This is supposed to be like rocks. So that's fun. Um, this is a, a drawer pull and this is the inside. That's where the screw goes. But I like the little design in there, it's simple. And then this, uh, it's the same job, but I put a, um, there's a foam stamp on the end. And then I cut out a foam heart and just put it there. You got that. I've got triangles. I've got a little swirl. This one with three larger circles. This one here uh, with a bunch of little triangles. Um, oh, I like this one. This is a charm or a, like a, it's a pin or brooch or something, but it makes good marks. Uh, I showed you that one. And then this guy, you can take, I know a lot of y'all probably have wine corks. All I did was I took a, um, an X-Acto knife and I cut out a design on one end, a design on the other end, real simple, bam. You know, and that one, that's really sturdy and that's gonna last you forever. So, you know, you have a lot of options um, that you can use to make marks on the gel plate or, you know, with your art. Um, this glass I use a lot. This bottom gives a really cool design. 
and then kitchen um, heat pads like silicone mats to when you when you have a, a hot pot and you need to set it on something so it doesn't burn your counter. But they make great designs and they're wicked cheap. So this one you see I've already used that one. Just lay it on there, bam, take it off. Or we can lift the paint off of here and then put it on our cardstock like that. All right, so we got some tools to play with and I've got my paints here. So I'm going to stop talking and um, we're gonna gel plate and decorate some cards. <laughs>
Okay, we're back with our cards and after they completely dried, I let the paint completely dry on them. Um, I took some coffee dyed paper that I made and then I glued them on there. I use this glue here that I always use, the glue stick, Scotch Create glue stick. And um, <clears throat> it's a trick I learned from, or a tip I learned from uh, Kerry Griffiths. He uses a um, little card, a key card. This is an old credit card offer. It's not even a, I covered up the number, but. And you use that to smooth out the back in case you get any like little glue lumpies or anything. And then I also go go over it with my, my finger and kind of give it a nice smoothing out. And that way you have a nice surface to write on if that is, you know, what ultimately it's gonna be used for. So, I had about four pages of these. And um, as you can see, I put them up pretty close, living uh, about a quarter inch or less um, in between. And it just, it uses up more of the paper, um, less waste. And um, yeah, you just go through with the scissors, you cut them up. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna make them even better. And by that, I mean more textured, more fun, more exciting. And we're gonna use some light and fluffy modeling paste. I learned about this stuff from uh, Patricia and Mariah over at PM Artist Studios. And they, um, they use these with their stencils. So that's what we're gonna to do today. We're gonna to use some modeling paste. It doesn't have to be this one, but I just happened to use it because that's what they suggested and I trust them. But um, there's different modeling paste out there and you know, you can certainly um, pick which one you want or use the one you already have. And now um, we're gonna use you can use a, you know, what they call a palette knife, like the artist one. This one is from when I did baking, um, but it works just as well. So we have that. I've cut out a bunch of the tags and things that we painted. So we're gonna, we'll go through and decide, you know, what's gonna be a journal card, what's gonna be a tag um, and all that. These are our pockets. Um, but I didn't back them because they really don't need backing their cardstock and no one's going to write on the back and they're stiff enough to be pockets on a page. Let me get a page here. Oops. Made a mess. Okay. So what you would do, let's see, let's get the page right side up. Now I, I didn't make a mistake because all of my, um, pockets, they all face the same way. So, you know, I should have done it where I printed them on, on these sides, but you know, I was going too fast and talking too much, but it, we'll make it work, it doesn't matter. They don't have to be facing each other, it's, it's all good. So, you wanna line it up with your page. Yeah, and see that's gonna fit, it's gonna fit well. And it doesn't need, you know, any structure um, other than, you know, the stock it's already on. So let's see, we took that in. See? Very nice, very colorful, really fun, and easy to make. Okay. So we've got our pockets. Set those aside here. And another tool I use sometimes when I'm using the modeling paste is um, the same scraper or key card I use for the, um, for smooshing down the glue. Okay, now I'm doing this all on my craft paper because um, I don't want to get it all over my mat, you know, my cutting mat. Um, and I really didn't, I forgot to pull out my cutting board, but this will work just fine. All right, so I've got a selection of stencils um, and I'll link everything below. These are in a set of five. Those, those come in a set of five. Um, these are extra bits that PM Artist uh, Studio sent me with um, a couple of my orders. So, you know, it's not necessarily on their website, but you never know, you make an order, you probably get one or something like it. Um, and then this is from Carrie Griffith's um, Rose Strips. 
um, his late one of his latest designs, and I'm going to use some of the roses. I thought that'd be fun. Okay, well, let's move you to the side, and let's see what did I cut out. All right, so we got a you know a lot of options here. Um, but what I was thinking is let's definitely make these tags. So let's let's work on these first because. I want to. Uh, am I in shot? I'm in shot. Okay. So these are fun. Um, so let's just pick out something we want to put over it. Let's see, that could be cool. Or do we want something more, a little bit more open? Hmm. Although that's gonna make it, give it more coverage um or cover it up more hey how about this one because it's going to contrast with these lines that are going horizontally we'll get this pattern lay it right down there you don't have to do the whole thing we can maybe do just this edge yeah let's do that um just for my own sanity i'm gonna take down the ends of the stencil, just so my, um, it doesn't move around and I can get an easier um, impression. Okay. Let me take a little stencil butter. Now, when you're using these with your stencils, do not let that dry on the stencils because it'll dry solid and you will not be happy with your stencil afterwards because it just gets stuck and it's crusty and it's musty and you don't want that. You take a little bit, you don't need too much at first, okay? And then you're just gonna go across, All right? Take your time. Messy, messy. And I'll just go back over it. Now these, you want to let dry before you do anything else. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now I purposely did it this way because this is gonna be the top of my tag and I'll cut the corners here. So I'm not gonna go all the way down. All right, let's, let's do a little smoother, okay. Some of this excess off. Oops. Okay. And then I like to cover it just in between my uses. So we're going to lift this up. Okay. You see? You got this cool textured effect. So when you, um, when it dries, you've got that extra layer of 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 texture and you know we can paint it you can do all sorts of things spray on it um but for today i'm just going to show you um how to use the 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 paste on your um tags and journal cards and the fun you could have all right now this is still good so we're gonna use that and then why don't we do, I'm going to, actually, I'm going to take that and go put it in some water. All right. I'm going to use the same stencil and we'll go over something else. Why not? Let's it out. Actually, this one, I want to make this a tag and let's figure out what the top is going to be. There's really, they're kind of the same. We'll make that the top. And then we can do the stenciling. Maybe we'll do the stenciling right. Do we do it in the middle? Or do we do it this way? Let's go crazy. We're going to do it this way. Okay. Put some tape back on. Now, I was going to do a couple of these ahead of time, and I said, eh. It's all good. 
We'll just do them on camera and then. And because you don't really need to see them dry to, to, to know how to do it. When you lift the, the stencil, be gentle. Otherwise, you're going to mess up your design. All right. Ah, that's cool. See that? That's great. Okay, take that. All right. So we got two down. Let's use that one more time since we have it out. Um, how about... Let's do it this one. Right up, so just move that out. And then what should we do though? Where should we do it? We did, this was kind of a, took a little copper off one of the other prints. Um, is this gonna be a, this is gonna be a journal card. That's what I want this to be. Okay, so what we'll do is, how about we go this way. Okay. And again, you don't need a lot. Just take a little bit. And with gentle pressure, smooth down, go over it gently, fill in as much as you can, but don't push too hard. Gentle pressure. Still some there, okay. Let's see. A little bit more. Over here. Ha ha! Almost done. Here we go. Easy, simple. Nothing fancy, but it does add some awesome character to your your work all right there you go and uh, what should we try next let's do the roses i'm gonna go soak this first and we will um i'm gonna stop the video for a second on my end and then go clean it and come back okay the stencil's washed and i'm gonna do work on these two um I'm going to make them tags. Um, they're going to be cute little tall skinny tags. Just like me. Not. All right. I'm going to lay out this stencil. This one's called Aqueous. Um, there's a, a large, different sizes of this on the PM Artist Studio website. So, okay. Now, let's figure out where the tops are. What, what, what do we want to be the tops? Because I do want to... Or what we could do is I'm going to go ahead and snip the tops. Okay, these are going to be my tops. And I have just a little card here, an old gift card that I um, cut some corners on. These are just like, I think they're 45 degree. And if I had scissors, there we go. That'd be dangerous. Both sides are the same. I'm not too fussy about that. And a snipperoo. Okay. No. Put this away. Get these little bits out of our way. Got our two tags. Yep, they're not the same height. That's okay. But I want to lay this over so that both sides get some of the bubbles. And we're doing half of the work. Oops. 
Oh, you washi tape. This one's got to come in a little bit more. Are you in there? There you go. Don't move. Okay. There we go. Uh, where did you go, little tape? That'll work. Uh, let's see here. Okay. I'm trying to lay it as flat as possible. Um, don't get too much paste on there, and then it gets all weird when you take it off, take the stencil off. All right. Got a paste. It's trying to hold it down. As we go. Yeah, steady as she goes. Okay. And I'm going to start at the top again and just want to make sure I get any excess off. stencil up and then this one is another one done carefully okay now you see that I have oops, see I already messed it up a little extra on the sides here from the edge of the stencil so I'm just gonna come in with a, a just a slightly damp rag Clean up those lines. All right, oops. And I'm not worried, too worried about that because I'm probably either, I'm gonna paint over it or, or spray over it. So it probably will not make a, a huge difference. Okay, there we go. Yeah, and I messed that one up too, didn't I? No, I just don't think I put enough there. That's okay. But see how cool they look? And they aren't even dry or painted yet. I'm going to set these up here. I think we'll do a carry rose. How about that? Let's get this all put away. And what do we want to put our roses on? Ooh, maybe this one. This one's fun. And we want to make it a tag. Yeah, this one's going to be a tag. Okay. Don't mess up your stencils or your tags, Eddie. And obviously, you know, you can cut your corners whatever size you want to cut them and, and make it your own or, you know, you could round them. Okay. Come on, my hands don't want to work today. This is darn cold. The weather, I mean, I'm not sick, but it's just the cold. It's not a, does not play well with my joints and all that good stuff. And we said we're gonna use, we're gonna do roses, so roses. Let's see. Yeah, I want this side. Hmm. I think I want to start it here. Okay. Get nice, some nice coverage. Let's get some tape that's actually going to work. How about some rows for rows? If we cut a longer piece, Eddie, and then just cut from that. Everyone's enjoying this. 
Now it's a little ho-hum nut, but the results are, are pretty cool. And I'm having fun. I'm sure a lot of you made mud pies as little kids. So you'll enjoy this. Yeah, I was definitely a mud pie maker. It explains my love for cooking. I do have a, um, I have an associates in culinary science. I got that sucker late in life. I was, I believe 38 when I graduated culinary school. And uh, worked at some cool restaurants, but the weight of the work and the aging of my body did not work well together, let's just say. So I, um, I left the industry and decided to focus my energies on my art, um, with this kind of art, cooking is an art. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, so I decided to leave that field and play with colors and paper and paste. All right. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Look at that. So nice. Come in, and I'm just going to clean up some of these little bits here. There's some on the side. And then I just want to just want to straighten up this top. So I'm going to come over with this and just scrape it off. My dad would be proud. And the reason I say that is because he, um, among other things, he was a handyman. He was really good at that. And he um, would take me along on jobs with him when I was a teenager. And we would do, he would have me uh, do plaster work on the walls, on the drywall. He was a stickler for smooth, even walls. So I learned a lot. And that that, uh, that was a fun time. Okay. All right, so we did roses. We did aqueous. We did the chevron stripes. I think that's a chevron. Okay. And then what else do we want to do? We have... Let's do one of our pockets. Let's do one of our pockets, and I think we'll call it a day. Just get the idea. And then when you check, uh, if you check my socials later on, after the video is posted, I will um, upload photos of them um, once they're dried and painted and what have you. Uh, what should we do with this one? Maybe, I like this stencil here. We could do, should we do it on the, on the angle like this? Yeah, okay. So we don't want to bring it all the way to the edge. There, that's good. I think we can reuse some of the tape from the roses. All right. Oh, I did have a question for you guys. Is anyone in the Los Angeles area watching let me know what it's like to have all that snow. Because it's fascinating to me that Southern California is getting hit with a lot of snow. It's just strange world. Okay. Let's get some paste here. Mix that up a little bit, make it smooth. And you know what, let me go this way. 
from right to left. I'm not going to go all the way down. I just kind of want a, 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 I want a um, just a strip of texture running along that edge of the pocket. Okay. I think this is going to look super cool. Let's just do it this way. Let's lift this up. Yeah. I like that. Let's see. So when you put it in your on your page, like that. And someone comes in, if you're, you know, if this is gonna be something you're giving to somebody, they'll feel that on all. Oh. I'll be super impressed. Okay, well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, all of the products I used, I will drop that link in the description box. These are some of the, these are the ones we made today. Let's see here, da, da, da. Cool. Yeah, and if you haven't already done so, please like, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I would love to make more videos for you. And um, the paste, so we did that, we covered all that. I think we're good. I hope you enjoyed the video. Talk to you soon.